Hello, as most of you would know by now, there is only one very important requirement for a bunch of symbols to be converted into a smart magnet rig. And this requirement is that registration and transformation points of each of these symbols should match. That means transformation point should always be over the registration point. This is a fundamental difference from the typical flash and animate approach where symbols can be registered anywhere and twins only look for the transformation points. So a lot of flash users have never really paid any attention to their registration points and base their rigs solely on the position of their transformation points as is the case with this rabbit here if we look at any of these symbols you will see this upper arm is registered in the center while the transformation point is correctly positioned in the shoulder the same thing applies to the lower arm the neck this upper upper leg transformation point is uh, correctly positioned in the uh, pelvic joint and registration marked with the little plus sign is in the middle in the center of the bounding box so if we attempt to rig this character as it is which i will do i'll just grab the freestyle rigging tool and try to rig it will get the warning that there is a transformation and registration point mismatch and we need to review our instances and we need to resolve this problem up until version 6 of edap tools the only way to re-register the symbols was to use a set reg point to transform point which is this command here but with this new version, we have automated the process and made it much more easy for all of you who are just transitioning from traditional flash builds to the far superior, much more advanced smart magnet rig system. So basically, it is very uneventful. All you need to do is select all your character elements and press this button here in smart magnet rig helpers panel called make adaptable when we press the button we are presented with two options the the default option will base the registration on your transformation points so if you're a new user of edap tools this is most likely um, your user scenario you would like to just re-register your symbols so that you can continue rigging them as a smart magnet rig. The other option will uh, do the opposite, will snap your transformation points back over your registration points just in case if you made a mistake and just uh, moved one accidentally. I'll show that later. So for now, we'll focus on the first option just re-registering the symbols for smart magnet rigging. I'll just press OK and the script just goes through all the elements and re-registers them. It can take a while because it has to go through every single one of those elements. In a few seconds, we'll get the confirmation in the output. And we're done 16 elements affected and now when we look at these elements you can see the circles and the crosses the circles and the plus signs coincide which means that transformation and registration are matching and we can continue with uh, smart magnet rigging I will very quickly rig this character with the freestyle rigging tool. I'll just drag from the torso toward the neck, from the neck toward the head. I'll 
just hide the torso so that I can rig this other arm. And with this, I believe that uh, we are done. Again, very, very uneventful. I always check my rigs by just moving the main mast apparent and snapping everything back. It's all good. I will, for the sake of this presentation now, do something else. I will remove the smart magnet rig info, basically to unrig the elements and show you the other option. Let's say, for example, this time we just, just by mistake, we have moved some of these um, points. This will prevent us from rigging the elements um, as well. If I try to rig this arm, I'll get the registration and transformation point mismatch again. But this time, instead of re-registering the symbol, because this time the reg point, the little plus sign, is correctly positioned while the transformation point is incorrectly moved. Now I can obviously double click it and it will snap back over the reg point. But let's say all of them were misplaced for some reason, whatever that reason might be. Now I can select all these elements, press the make adaptable button and choose the second option. Go OK. All the transformation points snapped over the registration points. And now I can proceed with reading the elements. So I'll very quickly rig it again. I'll hide the torso again. Let's see. It seems that all's fine. I'll just uh, test again. Yep. Now, just before I go, I'd like to show you one last thing. I'll just make a, a keyframe here. And we'll slide this character a little bit and give him a tween. Okay, so now in this keyframe, just say by mistake, I moved a bunch of a bunch of transformation points. I'm sure that the more experienced of you will know what happens when you move the transformation points in one of the keyframes of a tween. The twin breaks. This is what happens. The twin breaks, and then in the keyframe, the next keyframe, the character reassembles again. Now, just as a side effect of fixing the transformation points, make adaptable will fix broken twins. So it doesn't really matter in which of the two keys we execute the command, it will fix the twin. Let's do it in the first keyframe, just for the fun of it. I'll select all the elements, I'll make it adaptable, and I will choose this as the second option where we move the transformation points over the registration points. You say OK. And now you can see that the tween has been fixed because the transformation points that were moved accidentally were put back into their places over the registration points. So this is just another side effect. That was not the main intention when we created the command, but uh, it can be very handy if you face the issue of broken twins. So this is it. I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.